Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. I've got a question on the channel from uh, T1D100. They have asked me about uh, the capacitor discharge pen. Um, they want to know the resistance um, across the terminals. Um, and uh, they asked if I could open it and see if I could get a reading of the, the resistor itself directly. So I thought I'd take that on. Let's jump over to the bench and see what we can see. So here we are on the bench. Now I've got a couple of um, tools here for measuring resistance. Um, so uh, let's do that first. Um, this is the um, DT71. It's a pretty flimsy uh, meter, but here we go. Let's give him a reading. And it says open circuit. There's, there's no resistance across those pins there at the moment. So DT71 says open circuit. Now this uh, is an SMD tester, the UT116A. Um, it's similar, it's another tweezer tester. So we've got him in uh, ohms mode. And across the, um, the contacts there, we've got open circuit. So it's, 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 it's not an open circuit. Now just, just for the, the sake of it, let's do, um, what will we do? <coughs> How about alligator clips? And we'll see if we can get Sorry, just bear with me here. I'm just trying to find some alligator clips. All right. So we'll put him on positive, and we'll put him on negative, and we'll put him in ohms mode, and we'll just check that that's zero. It is. And now let's just do the final reading across the thing. So it's open circuit. So obviously it doesn't uh, engage the resistor um, until uh, it's detected a voltage. <sighs> now I did have a look at it earlier and I reckon I probably can get it open. I don't know if you can see in there, um, but it does seem like, uh, I wonder if I could put you up on the, uh, <sighs> just bear with me for a second here, see if I can get a microscope working. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, can you see in that? You can. Wow. Now, it's difficult to get a focus on that, but basically it clips in. You see the two bits in the center uh, clip into the two bits on the right. So I reckon I might be able to just pop something in there um, and then uh, push open the uh, push open the, the tab. Close, isn't it? I'm going to give it in that way. I might have to do this off camera with a, a little screwdriver or something. Uh, I've got plenty of little screwdrivers. Let's go and find some of those. This is a mini screwdriver set. Oh dear, I was um, I was looking at the uh, at the microscope, um, but you couldn't see the microscope, could you? Let me see if I can find that again. Okay. So. Uh, let me just show you what I was talking about. I tried to show you this earlier, but I didn't get the right thing. But you can see in there, you see from the top, there's the two prongs on that side, and then there's two in the middle. So I reckon we're going to have a good chance of getting this open. Um, I'll just jump you back over there. And let's try with a small little screwdriver like this, 1.4 mil one. So. There we go. Yeah, I reckon I'm going to get him off the shore. I hope I didn't pay too much for this thing because it might not survive this uh, operation. We get what I paid for it. Probably should take those stickers off, I guess. <sighs> All right, well, yeah, I'm not real sure. Maybe I'll just cut them. How about that? Got some blades here. You see what I do for you, T1D100? Cut all of my stuff to bits in the name of science, of course. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think maybe it might be better actually if we uh, if we just oop, there we go. He's, he wants to come off. All right. All right. Well, we got one of them off. We might as well get the other one off too. Can you see that? You can. Okay. 
All right, well, we're almost there, aren't we? So we just got to pop him open. Might put that knife away before I drop it on my foot or something. Now, that's very close. It's just going to pop open, I reckon. Is it going to come off? Must be close. I wonder if he's going to pop open. I wonder if there's some other little bit that I'm not aware of. Oh dear me. I'd like it if it just popped open, but it doesn't look like it's gonna. Maybe if I keep jiggling it. Oh. I'm not sure. I don't know that this thing's been made to come open. I think it's just being made to slot in and that's that. There is something there though, isn't there? I wonder if we can see in there. Just a quick have a look in there. Is there anything to push in there, do you reckon? Oh, we're... There we go, just trying to look in the, uh, in the holes there. I don't know. over to my computer quickly uh, and see what I paid for this thing because if it's only 10 bucks I'll just break it open just give me a second all right well apparently I paid 21 bucks for this thing so what am I gonna do I'm gonna break it open I can't quite see in the uh, in the top here Yeah, I don't know. I, I reckon that top bit clips on somehow, but I'm not really sure how. Yeah. Could have probably get that off, but I don't know how. That definitely pops open, but about the next bit. Piggy ain't coming back. Let's uh, switch it back over to here. See what we've done, huh? There we go. All right. Well, we've got our uh, our two probes coming off here. 
Might as well just uh, desolder that guy. How am I going to do that? A soldering iron on. There we go. There we go. Solder iron's just warming up, okay. Now, <coughs> um, I'm just gonna uh, use the desoldering pump, this guy. So, let's try that, huh? Come on, iron. Come on. All right, now, maybe put some, <coughs> maybe put some fresh solder on there as well, we'll see in a minute. All right. Go. All right, so he's coming out there, no problem. There we go. That should come. There it goes. All right, we'll do the other one as well. Just uh, put a bit of desoldering. All right, that's pretty close there now. So we'll just give him a bit of heat and knock him out. There we go. All right, well, first thing we might do is see if there was a way that we could have got this guy open um, without snapping the plastic, which is what I did. It's difficult to see. Turn those off for a second. Well, uh, let's grab my torch. Oh, yep. All right. So the way in is basically what I was trying to do was correct. So you, uh, you push in at the top um, and then uh, pull the bits down. Okay, well that's a shame. So uh, we had to break him to get in. We didn't have to, but we didn't know better. So um, let's just have a go and see if we could have done better. So uh, put that in there and that in there and then squeeze them together. I don't know. I don't know. It's not easy to get this thing apart, that's for sure. Or well, if it is easy, I haven't figured out the easy way. Um, but he's not going to go back together because I cracked it. So, um, oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much longer you want to see me sitting here struggling with this for. But basically you need to put uh, two things in there and then you'll be able to squeeze this out. I don't know if you could do it one side at a time maybe. Oop, didn't sound good, did it? Oh uh, yeah, I well and truly just fucking cracked it. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been able to figure it out. be close. There we go. All right. So what have we done? All right. You see, I cracked that bit there. I cracked that bit there. And that bit there. Yeah, right. Actually, you know, fuck. This thing, um, okay. All right. Well, I think I can report in on how to open this guy now. And that is you just pull that really hard. Just pull it, um, and it'll it'll pop open. It's just friction. It's not actually. Um, if you have a look in here. Let's put you over to the microscope. All right, and we'll have a look in there. Do you see that uh, on the side there? Those are just. Um, can I turn that? Give me some more light there. Those things. They're they're. Um, Uh, 
they're, they're not they're not flat on the top end. They're uh, they're just chunky. So um, now that I know, if you're trying to open one of these things, um, just pull it really hard. Pull this bit off like that, um, and uh, and it'll it'll uh, it'll come it'll come apart. I'm pretty sure. So just pull really really hard, um, and uh, it should it should just come off. I'm pretty sure. So there you go. Anyway, this one's broken now, so he's not going back together. And this is the circuit. So we're in. So uh, I'd be able to tell my mate what he wants to know. Uh, let's put these away. So um, why don't we put him under the microscope? Why not, huh? Let's do that. Where's the scope? Over here. Here. There we go. Now, let's have a look, huh? All right. We've got some uh, surface mount components. It looks like uh, the resistor uh, is 2 meg, 205, 205. So we've got an SMD tester here. Let's give him a bit of a test, huh? So this guy's on uh, resistance mode. And I'm not getting a reading. No reading. Why not? It says open circuit. I don't understand. All right, let's try on the uh, the DT seventy one. See what he says. He says one point four meg. It's going up, up, up. I don't know why it started low and it's going higher. This thing's going one point seven. It's going up still. One point eight. One point eight four. 1.88, 1.9. Yeah, so it says that it's uh, it's two meg. It's measuring 1.9 meg. I don't understand why this guy's not giving me a sensible reading. Oh, maybe I had him on hold. Yeah, okay, cool. Sorry, operator error there. Let's try this again. We're getting 1.954. Okay, so it's, it says it's a 2 ohm resistor, and it is a 2 ohm resistor. Um, let's just do uh, one last measurement. Oh, dear me. So, uh, let's put this guy in there. All right, well, we're on, uh, on uh, resistance mode. We're measuring zero. Let's put him back there. Now, let's have a look. And we've got 1.97. Yeah, okay. So, um, it seems to me that the resistor that they're using is 1.97 uh, ohms. So uh, there are some other um, devices on the board. Uh, let's see if we can see what that is. All right, well, uh, I might as well try and have a look under the scope with you. This is CS01N100A3R88L5127. So uh, that's that. And then um, what else have we got on here? Let's put him on the board and zoom in again. All right. Well, I'm not getting a reading on those. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's, uh, what does that say? Can anyone tell? Uh, MB10F, maybe? MB10F and M7F. Yeah, all right. I'll tell you what. Um, just grab my... Uh, um, component tester here, um, and uh, let's just get some, what do we need? Uh, I'm not sure which ones. I'm not sure how to use this. <laughs> I don't wonder, what about if we turn it on? Um, I just wonder if I can use the probes up there. It'd be good if I could. I've got this probe that comes with it, but I'm not sure if I put it on DSO, which is, I guess, digital signal oscilloscope, or maybe it's digital signal out, and DDS, I don't know. Oh, what a hassle. Let's, um, let's just plug this guy in, and we'll see if we can... Uh... Oh, 
let's just uh, jump you over to M Tester. M Tester, select that. All right, now what we really want to do is just see what it does if there's a, um, a zero ohm connector. So uh, run, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, does it? All right, so that's not the, um, the right one. Let's try on DSO, see what he does. Run. No, he doesn't like that either, does he? All right, and I suppose in is not going to work either. No. Let's try that. No, all right, so this is not a job for the probe, um, which means we'll need... Uh... Oh, there we go. All right, we've got a red one and a black one. That'll do. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll do. So uh, let's pop this guy up there. Can you see that? Not quite. Um, so we're going to go in uh, component one, and we'll do this one in component three, and we'll lock that in place. All right, now, um, might as well put you back over on the scope. So we're going to be having a look at, um, at those components on the side there. So, oh man, we're going to need a third hand. I haven't got a third hand. I mean, I do have those third hands, but I don't think they're going to help right here, right now. Mm. All right, well, let's see if I can hold them on there and press the test button. This is not going well, is it? <sighs> what about if we just shorten it out and just see? Run. Ah, oh, I'm not getting a reading. Why not? Let's see if I can just uh, try that. I don't understand why it's not working. Oh, there we go. I pressed the wrong button. What a goose I am. All right, in circuit that says 1.67. All right, so I pressed the wrong button. I pressed run, but I should press okay, which means maybe I'm going to try my scope again, because I think that would probably work better for me. I'm not sure. <sighs> Alright. Thanks for bearing with me on this one. Alright. So let's try DSO. Testing. Unknown part. Let's try DDS. DDS. Run. Testing. Unknown or damaged part. And we'll go in. And we'll go testing. And I know no damage, but all right, so it continues to not give me uh, a reading on the probe. So we're going to have to keep using those other probes. Um, and I guess that's okay. So let me just pop you back over there while I work on this. All right, so we're going to put these guys back in. Uh, one and three. And lock them in place there. All right, now let's see if we can hold these in place. All right. And we go test, and it says unknown or damaged part. Diode, there we go. All right, so that's uh, uh, 0.68 volts, um, 0.4 microamps. Okay, so did we get that? Um, I think we did. All right, so the first one's a resistor, the second one's a diode. And that other thing's probably a bridge rectifier, isn't it? Don't you reckon? DR1, it says. And uh, I'm not sure what all the bits are underneath. Uh, and I don't know what that top bit is. But uh, I think um, that, that's pretty much everything. So um, I'm going to go and, uh, and write up this uh, write up this result now. So the resistor is a 2 mega ohm resistor. Uh, there's diode in there that looks like a bridge rectifier to me. There's some sort of thing up the back there. Maybe it's a voltage regulator. I'm not sure. Um, but I'll, um, I'll I'll look up all the components um, on the internet and I'll put the information together in the blog. So that's it. That's the uh, the teardown of the um, of the uh, capacitor tester. And uh, might have cost me twenty dollars, but uh, it was worth it. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.